Hey everyone, it's Randy, and today I'm going to be doing, I think, my fifth weekly haul. And so, this video will probably be over the course of two weeks just because, as you guys saw, my last video was a pretty hefty haul, and as I get closer to completing my Joy collection, obviously I will have less things coming in the mail. So, I'm not really sure what other content I should be posting because if I'm not going to be doing as many unboxings, then I won't have as many videos to post, and I'm not really sure if I should start branching off and doing other things, or if I should just do the unboxings and suck it up that I have to upload once every two weeks. I might start collecting red velvet albums, so maybe I will do a video of that. I probably will end up picking them up when I go to LA for Red Mare. Again, promoing the vlog, but by the time you guys see this, I am, the vlog will probably already be up, so check that out. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into this, and so... I guess I also could start collecting someone else as I complete this collection, but I don't really want to collect anyone else. Like, collecting Joy alone was exhausting, and just to have to, like, it was so rewarding, I won't lie. So these are photos that I picked up from eBay, K2 Pop. They're the only seller that is selling these photos, as far as I know, and, and that specific listing. I'm the only one who has bought any of these photos. SM released like museum whatever photos. They have a lot for EXO and their other groups, but they did photos for the Summer Magic era. So I snatched them up because I think the photos are fairly cute. They have different formats. And when I originally saw these photos, they were in the sticker format. And since I didn't know what they were in the listing, description was in Chinese, like I thought they were photo cards. And for the life of me, I just could not figure out where they were coming from. So when K2Pop posted this, I was like, okay, this makes sense. These are photos that SM released and they have four different formats. They have the sticker, like it's essentially photo card size, the four by six, and then um, like A4 and A3 sizes. And um, don't quote me on that. I figured that I would just stick with the four by six so that it fits my binder better. Um, there's that. Oh my god! Oh! K2Pop always comes through with the freebie, and even though it's only ever one card, I love it. This is the freebie card, and honestly, this is my favorite freebie card I've ever gotten. I like to give away these transparent um, cards, and they're so pretty. This one's so gorgeous. I love this. Okay, now onto the photos. There's only two Joy photos. I believe they have two of each member, and then they have an Irene and Yeri photo, and then a group photo. And so, there's nothing really special about these. Like, they look like you can print these from like Costco or Walgreens. They're just the standard like material or whatever. But there's this one. This is what the back. It's not even the Fuji film material that the 4x6 photo sets come in. This is literally like a Costco Walgreens printed photo. Oh, this is my favorite photo between the two, and this one's so cute. Okay, I'll try to get the whole thing. There's the back. It's not gonna focus on the back, but there's nothing on the back. But these are the two photos that I got. They're super gorgeous. Me and SM have an issue though, because the 4x6 photos aren't really 4 by 6 at least the ones in the photo sets. They put all of them in my binder and the automatic one fits perfectly, but the rest of them stick out and it's so annoying, I'll actually show you guys. I've also been debating when I want to do a photo card binder video. Um, I think I'm going to do that when I feel like my collection is overall complete, so that won't be for probably a month or two. As you guys can see, the sleeve ends right here and the photo protrudes out of the sleeve. How annoying is that? All of the photos aren't 4 by 6 so they don't fit and I was looking forward to putting this, these horizontal photos, up at the top but they don't fit so they just have to all go in here. Anyway, this was short and sweet but on to the next clip. Hey everyone, so this is probably going to be my last unboxing before I leave for the Red Mare concert but 
that information is irrelevant to you because by the time you're seeing this, my Red Marin LA vlog should be up. Hopefully, um, if the vlogging goes successful, I'm starting to have second thoughts. So if you guys never see the vlog, even though I hyped it up like in every single unboxing video, don't hate me. <laughs> but I have been like really serious about this vlogging thing. Like I got a whole ass tripod, I got a new battery, and I am ready to vlog. It's all a matter of if the vlog is actually going to be a good one. And so I'm just going to stop rambling and I will get right into this. And so I'm actually going to start with this one, and this one is from Great Music CD on eBay, and I have absolutely no willpower when it comes to waiting to open packages. I'll have you guys know that I actually waited a whole day to open this because I knew something was coming in today, so I wanted to open them together, and I think waiting a whole day is actually pretty good for me, so... Yay! So I got her SM Town Museum bookmark, and I don't want to say this is something that I thought I wouldn't get, but Great Music CD wasn't selling her card for a minute. They were selling, I think, Wendy and Irene's, but not Joy's. And so when I saw that they put up Joy, I snatched her up. Let's open this. So this is what it looks like on the front, and this is what it looks like on the back. I won't lie, even though SM makes a shit ton of photo cards and like random goods, they are always quality, like you can always expect for it to be top notch. And so I'm super happy that I got this. I love this photo of her, it's from the happiness era. I was into K-pop and then I fell out of it. And so when, uh, by the time like I was kind of like falling out of K-pop, Red Velvet was like having their happiness and the natural era. And so, I will actually be very proud to say that Joy was my bias from the start. Next is this. This is something I have been waiting on because the seller went on vacation before shipping this out. And so they didn't tell me that they were gonna leave or anything and they just left. And so I thought I was gonna get scammed because they were taking a while to send anything out and I haven't heard anything from them. So. Thankfully, I didn't get scammed and they told me that they just went on holiday, which if you're gonna go on holiday, probably tell me before you go so I don't think that you're scamming my ass. What? You're freaking lying. Oh my god. Okay, maybe this guy threw in this card because he felt bad about going on vacation or whatever. Oh my god, now I have three of these cards. Um, I have her Summer Magic Clear Limited card. I low-key wish it was the regular card, but beggars can't be choosers, so... Oh my god, this card kind of made up for it, even though I already have this card. <laughs> Disregard everything that I said. Um, the seller is phenomenal. I don't know if they give this, like, freebies like this out to people, or if they did this to apologize for going on a holiday. I will accept this apology. <laughs> and so what I actually got was her Lenticular 11th Street Season Greetings card. Um, oh my god, I love this card so much. Not a lot of action going on here, but you guys know how I was complaining about how the Lensicular cards are expensive and hard to find, and I didn't get this for dirt cheap either, but um, it was a reasonable price compared to what I was seeing online, and so I'm super happy to have this. Finally, my 2019 Season Greetings collection is complete. I know there's other goods like this one bookstore, I'm not sure which one it called, released a bookmark, which is essentially the with drama photo zoomed out with a little string attached to it. And I think as long as I have at least one of each photo, I will be satisfied. So I have this um, 11th Street Lenticular and the normal card and then the with drama card. So yeah, this is going to complete my season greetings page, so I'm super excited because there's just one slot left and I have been waiting for this card. Moving on, so I got this from an Instagram seller and her name is My One Love. I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but I kind of bothered her the first time I made my account and I was like, okay, I noticed that you're selling all your other red velvet stuff because you're a Wendy collector and you buy the stuff and you just have all this extras. Well, when you have Joy extras, 
let me know because I am down to buy. If she'll buy something, she'll let me know and ask me if I want the Joy stuff or if I'll buy something, I'll let her know and see if she wants the Wendy stuff. And so that's kind of the system we've had going on and I think it works. And she does have the other members if you're interested. I've kind of been debating if I should like get together a group of people, each with um, a different bias in the group so that we kind of can do group orders, if that makes sense. So like, if we buy the RBB postcards, each member will be taken and it'll be like a mini group order. I don't wanna cut this because I can feel like whatever is in the envelope is to the edge. Okay. And pray that I don't touch anything. Ooh, she hooked it up the top loaders. I won't lie, I'm kind of stingy <laughs> with the top loaders just because I don't have my own. So whenever I get like the bigger top loaders, I always keep them to myself. But I should probably invest in them just to save myself the trouble of having to send stuff out. So, oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, I'll start with the smaller stuff first. So, um, there's this. So I got her Rookie 4x6. You guys know my little rant. The photos are not actually 4x6 and SM has been scamming us this whole time. And I actually looked at my RBB photo set today. It wasn't just like I woke up and I thought the photos were 4x6. It clearly says right here, I don't know if it focused, but it says 4x6. So it's not 4x6 though, because they say 4x6.3, which is stupid annoying. Okay, my SD card was running out of space, so I apologize. But anyway, I got her rookie 4x6. I'm actually needing the sticker set, which I'm waiting for eBay to have a discount code so I can buy it because I'm super reluctant to get it. I won't lie, rookie. Not one of their best eras, and that sticker set is not one of their best sticker sets either. So I really don't want to be stuck with the extras, but if I have to get it, and that's the only way I will get Joy stickers, then I might have to suck it up and get it. So if any of you buy it, let me know because your boy would be down to buy one of Joy sticker sets. And then another thing that I needed were her bad boy stickers. Okay, so these stickers are a lot bigger than I thought they would be, but I honestly wouldn't have an issue buying the bad boy sticker set over the rookie stickers. I would rather buy this set, but um, I don't need to since I already bought them. But this is what they look like. I don't think there's anything on the back. There's not, but I know that this isn't about to fit in my nine pocket sleeve, which is annoying. Last but not least, here is one of her RBB postcards. And then this other one is in this top loader. Okay, so honestly, I will be the first person to say that they did Joy dirty with these postcards. I know there were 10 times better pictures of her in this era. And I don't know why they gave her like this concept of this little wolf miniature guy. Why did they give her this concept? I hate this photo. And you guys know I worship Joy, so if I hate this, then it must be bad. This photo's all right. I think she looks gorgeous. I obviously need to find another vocab word that's not gorgeous, but there were 10 times better pictures of her this era, and this postcard set is my least favorite. My personal favorite of the postcards are Wendy's, just cause her set is cohesive and the look that they gave her was gorgeous. Like, Wendy was killing it this era. Yes, this is it, he says as he sighs in disappointment. But this is what the back looks like. Just says SM on the bottom. Okay, so this was everything that I got today. On to the next clip. Okay, so hello everyone. I just got back from my Red Amer in LA experience. And by the time you see this video, hopefully my vlog will be up if it didn't completely flop because I'm not sure what I recorded and what I didn't. And I will probably have to fill in a lot of the gaps because a lot of it I didn't vlog. Anyways, so I got back and I was hoping that I would have a lot more packages than this, but I will just go ahead and open this because this does have a lot of stuff that I'm really excited for and 
after this, I'm going to be filming my Red Marin LA haul, which will probably be its own video, and if not, you guys will be seeing it in the next few clips. I actually got this package from Superbuy, which is a proxy service that helps people buy things off of Taobao. And Taobao is like a Chinese reseller site. And a lot of people use it to get some really cheap K-pop stuff, like they want fan-made merch, it's really cheap on there. And I used it to get some of the stuff that I needed, obviously, to fill in the gaps of my collection. And so I went ahead and used it. Overall, I was pretty happy with their service. Everything is super quick and dare I say I like it more than Japonica. They send you pictures of everything when it comes and they give you an option to like look at the condition and see if you want to keep it or return it to the seller. And they just have a very good proxy service figured out. Um, there is quite a language barrier. Like they do speak a lot of broken English anyway. They do have a lot of different shipping options as well. I went ahead and went with the cheapest, I think, which is they just send it through the post office and it does take a while to come, but it was the cheapest and I didn't want to pay an arm and a leg to get the ship to my house. So more packaging. And this looks like it is their own packaging. Okay, so I will open them one by one. So already we're off to a good start. Okay, let's open these first. I got these freebie cards. Just Irene photo cards, nothing special, nothing on the back, but she does look gorgeous. I will say after the concert, I do have this new appreciation for Irene's beauty. Like, I knew she was gorgeous, and she's probably my favorite visual in all of K-pop history, but after the concert, I just have this new appreciation for her. So I got her Russian Roulette postcards. These are so gorgeous. This is like a very hardcore, not hardcore era, but they definitely went hardcore on the makeup and this look, this concept. And then there is this. I really hope they never ever dye Joy's hair like this ever again. The two-tone blonde just was not my favorite look of hers. She still rocked it, but she has had 10 times better looks. And I already showed you guys the back, but this is what the back looks like. It just says red velvet. There's that. On to this. Okay, so they sent all the items one by one, which is weird because they all came from the same seller, but they package it all one by one. So this is the Red Summer Type A photo set. The reason why I got this was because I couldn't find Joy's photo for the life of me. I have her Type B photo, but not her Type A. So I went ahead and bought this set. So if anyone is interested in any of these photos besides Joy's, please shoot me a message on Instagram. But I have Sulkies, Irene, oh my god. It's so weird, like, coming back and seeing them in these photos, like, when I just saw them in concert, literally, like, two feet away from me. There's Joy's, and there's nothing on the back, if anyone's curious, and this is annoying. The corner has, like, a small little, like, it's, like, doggy-eared, uh, and, of course, it's Joy's photo. Uh, here's the group one. This one's gorgeous. I might actually have to keep this one. And there are all the photos like doggy eared. No, not all of them. Here's Wendy's. Wendy looked gorgeous this era, and so did Yeti. There's that. Okay, yeah, kind of like all the photos are doggy eared on this corner, which is annoying. But once it's in my binder, I won't notice it. So, yes, there's this. Next up, I'm just super excited for this. Okay, so for this seller, they send everything all in one, so I'm not sure if the seller decided to send everything um, one by one for the other package. And oh my god, please tell me that this isn't damaged. <sighs> okay, Randy, breathe, it's okay, you'll survive, it's just a sticker. So here is her 
velvet sticker. Um, I needed this and I think this package should complete my velvet collection. There's nothing on the back, but I feel like if I sit this or if I flatten it, then it will even out. So I'm not going to have a heart attack over the curled corners. I'm so excited to have these. I got her velvet photos, so I was super fortunate to find these because the seller only had Yeti and Joy's left. So I went ahead and snatched them up and the prices aren't like jacked at all. I think the prices are pretty fair. I, f I remember correctly, I got these photos for either $6 total or $6 um, each, um, which I know is very, two very different things, but for how hard to find these photos are, just like older stuff is, I was willing to pay that amount. So, oh my god. See? The sellers like kind of don't take care of their stuff and like I'm kind of finding defects and folds with all of the items that I'm receiving so uh, that's just kind of annoying and obviously it's not super biased fault and they send you pictures of everything like I said I guess it's more my fault for not paying attention but I feel like even if I had saw the folds and stuff and the creases and the Images, I still would have bought it and not have returned it anyway. So finally, oh my god, I'm so excited to have this because this will officially complete my Joy postcard collection. I will finally have every single postcard set of hers after um, I put these in my binder. I'm so excited and you guys know what that means. That means that my photo card collection video is coming very soon, so do be excited for that. But yes, so this was everything that I got today. On to the next clip. So hello everyone, this is going to be the last unboxing of this video. Video. You guys are getting an extra long unboxing and I would have cut it off with the last package but I forgot to film an outro so I figured it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and just unbox this and put it in this video. So my apologies. I think the unboxing is going to go up before the Red Mirror vlog just because I haven't gotten around to editing it and if I'm being honest I'm not really sure what I want to do with the video like I'm not sure how I want to start it and stuff. So I will probably have to go through the footage and see what gaps I have to fill in, but anyway, since I haven't done an unboxing in a long time and since they are long overdue, I will just go ahead and unbox these things for you guys. So, so I'm going to start with this package. I think that this is something from eBay. Okay, great. So I got her photo card collect book card. And if you guys don't know, I already have this card, but the seller that I bought it from, the corner is kind of coming up on one of the edges and it's, it's just super scratched on the back. So I asked the seller like, is this card super scratched? Like what's the condition of it? And oh my God, this is already in like 10 times better shape than the card that is already in my collection, so I will be happily replacing the one in my binder. And if anyone is interested in my previous one, I will go ahead and post that on my Instagram. You can go ahead and message me there if you are interested in buying it from me. I'm not really sure about what price I'm gonna list it at, but if you guys want additional picks, I will be happy to send those as well. This is something that I got from an e or not an eBay, but an Instagram seller. And this is another proxy seller that buys things from people in Korea, like a Korea reseller site, and then posts it, and then people buy from them. Okay, so I will start with this. You guys can already tell what this is. Ooh, okay. I'll start with the freebies. Damn, the seller gave hella freebies. I don't know if it's from the seller or if it's from the proxy service that I used or the person that I bought from. So there's this card. Ooh. I kind of like the concept of these. Okay, this is a sticker. Oh, she looks so cute in this. Damn, they gave me a hell of these. Okay, 
Yay, I got hella freebies, so I will stick those in my binder. But what I really bought this for was her 2017 season greetings. And this is what it looks like. It's just a standee. I don't know, it kind of came like, not creased, but it's kind of curving or whatever. So I'll just have to stick this with, or between some books. Um, since this won't fit in my binder, I'll just probably end up sticking it in the pocket of my Finder. So this is next. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so gorgeous. I love this sticker. Oh, it's not a sticker. It's a photo. Okay, so they gave me this peekaboo little poster thing, and it's so cute. I love this so much because I'm peekaboo era trash. So this is the card that I got, well I got two cards, but I will start with this one. Um, so I got her 11th Street transparent card. This is one of the pre-order benefits from the 2018 season screening. This card was super overpriced, but I'm getting to that point where I don't really mind the price anymore just because I'm so close to completing my collection and I just, I'm at a point where I don't care as bad as that sounds. But I don't even want to tell you guys how much I got this card for because like, if I had just been starting out, I definitely would not have paid the price I paid for this. Let's just say it starts with Thur ends with T. But yeah, that's not this card. And I'm not sure what this is. 2019 season's greeting. No, I didn't buy this, but I'm wondering what this is. Oh, okay. Ah! Okay, so just kidding. The person put this in the sleeve, but I'm going to leave, hold that off. What? You're kidding. I think the seller sent this to me on accident. I know I didn't buy her lenticular card. Ah! I'm speechless. Okay, I will definitely have to message the seller about this. I know for sure I didn't buy this and this card goes for too much money for them to have sent this to me as a freebie. There's no way I got this as a freebie. Oh my god! Now I have two of these! If I had known this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have bought the other one, but I'm just gonna have to let the seller know, because that's the right thing to do, right? Right, guys? <laughs> Okay, anyway, the card I actually bought, so let's make sure that there's nothing else in here. What I actually bought was her smile box card. If you guys watched my Japonica haul, you guys saw that I got the postcard of this. And so now I have the card, which I'm so happy because that means I have finally completed the set of the smile box just for Joy, not the whole set, because that would be impossible since they're so hard to find. But I paid an arm and a leg for this card, I won't lie to you guys, but I figured that since it's so hard to come by, I would just go ahead and buy it. And at this point, I've kind of reached a point where I only really have two things on my wish list. I have the Red Mare Lenticular and the Summer Match Lenticular, I think. Yeah, but this is the card. She looks so pretty. I love this photo of her so much. And wow, oh my God, I'm so happy about this package. Okay, I'll get everything in the shot and I'll do this outro. Okay, so thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm sorry that there was a delay and me posting, but I just hadn't really got anything recently. But I know I do have a number of things coming, and if anyone has any leads on where I can get the Red Mare Lenticular, please let me know, because I need it to complete my collection. Oh, I also need her third anniversary cafe card, which is super hard to find, and people really only sell the cafe card in bundles, which sucks because I already have the regular card, but I need the cafe, and someone was asking $300 for both cards, which I am totally not willing to pay. I don't know, I might have to cave. Ah, oh my God, that's so much money though. Since I got the regular card for 80 bucks, that means I would be paying like 220 for the cafe card, which is, I don't know, kind of insane, but let me know if you guys think otherwise. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will link my Instagram down below, and if you guys are interested in using Superbuy or Taobao, I will link both of those down below as well. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you guys want to see a collection video. And yes, goodbye.